Greetings, my name is Dr. Peter Harrop of ID TechX, the analysts. I'm going to talk to you today uh, to the title Solar Vehicles at a Tipping Point, because we're going to cover some of the research from our report, Solar Vehicles 2021 to 2041, second edition, because it's moving so fast. I'm going to talk to you about the second edition within 12 months to keep you up to date. First of all, it's important to realize that just as taking an existing heavy car not designed to be battery electric and making it battery electric is not the way to go, they have to be born electric. The same thing is true of solar vehicles. It's not a later modification. There are serious design issues that work together or work against each other if you don't do it correctly. For example, it's good to start with looking at what uh, performance compromises can be brought to bear. So with agricultural robots that automatically do weeding and seeding and so on, uh, they will, some of them work only in daylight and then they need almost no battery. Uh, other ones uh, like that light year vehicle there, uh, they've done away with the back window, so you get much more solar power, about seven square meters and they have made it more efficient, much more efficient and more lightweight, for example, with in-wheel motors that give you vector traction, not just taking less electricity. So there you have it, use less electricity, but also make more electricity. And that is part of a big picture. The onboard photovoltaics initially may be bodywork, it may be um, conformal film on the body, or it may more usually replace completely large amounts of steel and paintwork, and later do tracking of the sun, later unfolding, later unrolling in some cases, and often in the air and on water, you see some of those things happening before they happen uh, with land vehicles. So we look at the whole picture, we suggest you do the same, and then you may even add things, for instance, on a boat, uh, sails and um, wind power from turbines and so on, or even a stationary land vehicle erecting a wind turbine. But these are very peripheral things to do. And then in magenta on the right are all the good things that can result and you choose a compromise. The primary reason that solar vehicles are now taking off is that single crystal silicon is not only affordable, it is so affordable that it is viable on the sides of vehicles where it is despite the fact that it is only producing 50 to 60% of the electricity. It nevertheless creates much more electricity and we can see that also on the next slide. These are all battery electric vehicles actually on sale and some have the single crystal silicon on the side. The progress of the technology is from very expensive 3.5 compound multi-junction flexible thin solar film can be a kilowatt per kilogram and that starts on satellites it's been on them for some time and is being tested on airplanes you see one there and even being developed by Toyota working with Sharp for cars that's a long way off as we go down you see these other items being used the high altitude solar drones are using single junction 3-5 compounds and what goes out of the bin as single crystal silicon takes almost everything for the next 10 years at least down below is polycrystalline silicon It's possible to be creative about the different things that will come next. You've probably seen the uh, Tesla Cybertruck is promised to have uh, a, a, an unfolding uh, solar across the load at the back, and uh, that will be nearly half the area of the vehicle. 
uh, but others have uh, proprietary unfolding solar you can buy for your regular pickup truck and there is an organic photovoltaics tarpaulin that can go over your vehicle when it's parked it, it wouldn't i think last as as long as the vehicle uh, and it would not generate an awful lot of electricity uh, but these things are there so what comes next well one idea that we have in the report is that you could have something like a carpet but it's really two carpets rolled up together and this would electrically unwind when you stop your vehicle say uh, a pickup truck going to a work site and then a humming sound takes your uh, top carpet to over the front of the vehicle right down to the ground and the other co-wound carpet comes out and goes over the load and down to the ground at the back and you're talking about maybe about a kilowatt so that's very useful rather than sitting in a traffic jam trying to find a charging point which might not work or it will be busy or it has the wrong plug uh, so these are things that are likely to come and there's a roadmap obviously of that ultimately being triple junction and producing two kilowatts here is our summary of some of the technologies there's much more detail in the report but basically uh, a lot of different technologies are a maybe to go mainstream the three five compounds definitely have a niche place that's a strong one and their cost needs to go down enormously to become more widely used we think it will here is one of our forecasts basically over the next 20 years it will be the familiar s curve it won't go up as fast for cars which is what we're plotting here uh, because we're going to have peak car at least 2032 some people think it's happened already and with something dropping quite rapidly you cannot even take share uh, beyond a certain limit and so there are limits to cars not so much for uh, trucks buses and so on and this describes the range of the light year vehicle uh, being delivered soon uh, we would treat with caution the claim of aptera with their three wheeler that with only three square meters or so of single crystal silicon they can get a thousand miles 1600 kilometers but uh, we'll have to see uh, but interesting things are happening, creating this tipping point. I hope, I hope I've made my case. And to really hammer the point home, Hyundai, one of the big majors, is saying it will be having a solar bodywork on some of its conventional vehicles, hybrid vehicles, and battery electric vehicles. And it will range from uh, transparent skylights to opaque for example that's one example the red going over uh, all the sky facing sides and on the day we wouldn't be surprised if it also goes over the back window and the sides it all is a compromise uh, but the show is on the road and to put it bluntly anyone who is involved in vehicles land water and air that doesn't at least consider the solar bodywork option now is crazy this is us this is id tech x it's located across the world and we do primarily those three things thank you and goodbye